After the CCS concurrent engineering demo.hsc file is loaded, the simulation converges automatically. The screen shows the sub flow sheet for the carbon capture process, which uses absorber and regenerator columns along with MEA as the solvent. The simulation is ready for us to perform equipment design and economic and 3D layout analysis. Task 1. Rigorously size a shell and tube exchanger from within a simulation. We will start by rigorously modeling a heat exchanger in the feed of the amine regenerator column. Accurately modeling heat exchangers is a key step in identifying the appropriate design scenario and capacity of our facility. In this case, let's use heat exchanger HX200 to illustrate how to do this. From the activation dashboard, double-click EDR Exchanger Feasibility to enable exchanger design and rating. The table shows a list of heat exchangers in the flow sheet. In the Model Status column, click the Convert to Rigorous button associated with HX200 at CC to start the conversion. The Convert to Rigorous Exchanger window appears asking to select the exchanger design method. Aspen EDR offers the capability of automatically designing and running through multiple design scenarios, and we can select the ones that fit our operating conditions. To simplify the demonstration, let's keep the default settings and click the Convert button to start the auto-sizing process. Wait for a few seconds until the simulation converges again. Double-click HX200 at CC, or Carbon Capture. On the Rigorous Shell and Tube tab, the EDR Equipment Design results appear. These results are retained for Aspen Economic Evaluation. On the Results Summary tab, we can see that the calculated pressure drop values for the shell side and the tube side are 9.125 and 5.78, respectively. We can open the EDR browser to review the rigorous sized exchanger and make modifications as desired. The design drawings, tube layout and arrangement, and thermal calculations and results are also available in the Aspen EDR console. Task 2. Generate a simulation flow sheet diagram and datasheet. Since we are satisfied with the simulation results, we can generate the process flow diagram and data sheets using Aspen Basic Engineering. From the home ribbon, click Data Sheets to activate the ABE Data Sheets feature. From the ABE User Interface, select the Shell and Tube Exchanger HX200 in the Carbon Capture session from the list. Then create a data sheet for the exchanger. Once it is complete, we can review the datasheet for the design parameters, such as the operating conditions, construction materials, and geometry. Additionally, we can draw a process flow diagram in the standalone Aspen Basic Engineering application. Task 3. Perform a relative cost analysis. Return to the demo case in Aspen Hysis. Next, we will use the Activated Economics feature to perform process-wide cost analysis. We will learn about the cost driver items and understand how the configuration affects the CapEx and OpEx. In Aspen Hysis, the Economics ribbon displays the main steps of the economic analysis workflow. The Model Summary grid, which can be accessed by clicking Stream Price, shows a summary of the important unit operation and stream price variables from the simulation. On the heat exchanger tab, we can see that the tube and shell side pressure drop of HX200 was updated based on integration with EDR. Utility costs are another key concern. The process utilities option lists the process streams as well as the associated utilities. We can customize the costs and parameters for the utilities used and define new utilities as part of the operational expenditure analysis. We can also track greenhouse gases by specifying a fuel source for each utility.
Clicking Cost Options allows us to control the pricing and sizing correlations via templates. The templates include regional wage rates, material costs, design practices, and preferred sizing and costing methods. This can drive standardization across the organization. Click the Browse button in this window to review the default templates available. Aspen Economic Evaluation provides templates for six regions, which we can customize as needed for cost analysis. We can also create new templates by modifying the existing ones for our purposes. Select the Economics Active checkbox. Now we are ready to run the economic analysis. The first step is to map unit operations to process equipment. Mapping is a straightforward process that we can do either manually or automatically. We can check and modify the default mapping in the Map Preview pop-up window via the Map button on the ribbon. We recommend that you review the default mapping list before proceeding. Accurately representing equipment is very important for cost analysis. In this demonstration, we can see that AC100 is mapped to an air cooler. Accept the default mapping by clicking OK to start the mapping. After the mapping is performed, default settings such as the material of construction can be modified to represent the actual plant more accurately or provide a better model. We can do this using the View Equipment button and then either clicking the Size button and Evaluate button sequentially or selecting the Auto Evaluate checkbox to automatically perform the evaluation. The APEA engine automatically sizes the pieces of mapped equipment and accurately evaluates equipment costs based on the volumetric model. Once economic evaluation is done, we can see tiles for the estimated project cost, capital cost, and operating cost on the Activated Economics tab. Click View Equipment on the Economics tab. Let's check the Equipment Results Summary on a unit block basis. The first tab provides a summary of the results. The Equipment tab displays the equipment-related costs, including equipment cost, installation cost, and so on. We can sort the items to address the greatest project expenses. Navigating to the tabs for individual pieces of equipment, we can customize equipment sizes and construction materials for more accurate estimation results. Go to the TEMA hex tab and change the tube materials of HX200 to 304S. Evaluate the process again. After a few seconds, the estimation results are updated accordingly. Please note that this is a relative estimate and the investment numbers are primarily useful for comparing alternative design scenarios and or seeing if the plan is feasible and profitable. Further evaluation is required for investment decisions. Save the simulation results as the CCS Concurrent Engineering Demo EE.hsc file to the working folder. This step also creates a folder with an IZP file saved.